Hello fellas uh, DIYers of cars. Um, today we have ODA6 uh, 2011 onwards. Uh, I'm going to replace uh, uh, rear brake pads and discs because the software told me though in the car brake pads exclamation mark that uh, it's time to replace them. So the preparation is uh, I have new brake pads and discs. I have tools, I'll tell you about them later. Um, the car is jacked up, I will change wheel by wheel, no need to put two wheels up. Uh, we need VCDS software, laptop connection to onboard computer, and main thing we have a battery charger. You need to charge the battery at the same time. Um, so I'm connected it to the uh, connectors which are used for jump starting and we're just basically charging the battery which is needed during the process of replacing the parts uh, and of course don't forget to open a cup of um, brake liquid okay so VCDS software this is the one I use to release the electronic handbrake so you need such a cable it's a OBD2 protocol. You just buy it on eBay. One end is USB. Connect this cable into the computer port on the car, which is just above the accelerator pedal. So we bring the ignition on. We have icon on the desktop. <coughs> so we select uh, Select control module. So very important uh, bef before you do any change on your car, like uh, servicing uh, brakes, uh, you scan your computer and you record all the errors you have, all the current state of the car into the file. After that, you can do what you need to do. So we are releasing the handbrake. So I go for select controller module. Then we go for 53 parking brake and now we go basic settings, it says blah 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 could be damaged, follow the procedure correctly, well I'm following the procedure from the Rostec website. So, um, to release the electronic handbrake, we do choose start lining change mode and we press go. You can hear the sound. The brakes are released has finished correctly so you can service your brake pads or brake discs or both so we do done gone back close controller so it's ready for the brake replacement so the car is jacked up we are ready to take the wheel off now good idea to use one of those okay now we can lower a little bit down so we need uh, 13 and 18 I think so uh, Now, actually, before we remove this, we have an opportunity to push 
the brake cylinder in. So we just do this motion and it's going in. That would be easy to remove this caliper. Right. It's out now. Um, we can place it here so the pipes are not under strain. Okay, so on this side we have a sensor, the wear out sensor. Um, I think I have one which can with the brake, so it needs to be replaced. Um, we'll do it later. So I just will put it here, not to forget. Now, here's the oops, the brakes, brake part are pretty bad. So the sensor did a good job. Actually, I see only wires left. So one part out. Now the part is out. So that's a sensor holder. I think I have the same one here. So we're going to put it on the new part later on. Right. So now we want to remove the disc as well. So for this part, we need a screw, which is like a star. I don't know the number of it, but it just fits nicely in here and it's off. Okay, of course, uh, the disc will not remove because of this, so I think we need uh, number 18. I may just use one of these, much easier. So it's at the back, there are two screws, number 18. Uh, actually the wrong way, so it has to go this way. One is off. Second one is off. Okay, so we remove this. So now this should come off. We'll clean this later with the wire brush. Okay, now the hard work now is to get this disc off because there is a seal here which has a bit of dust. So, what I usually do is tap slightly in here. Okay, not much luck. Off. So as we see a little bit of rust makes it hard to 
So, so we just brush it off. We'll spray a little bit of this W40. I know there is a special grease, but I will use something like that. Uh, multi-purpose grease. I have to fix it with one screw. brushing these guides for new pads. They look clean enough for me. Now they go this way. Okay. At this point we can put the new pads. Pads came as the instruction. Um, so I think I followed followed it as much as I could. I think this is the way it should go. So we put those back too. Right, I think it's fine now. Yeah, I have to be careful with those sensors. I think we will put it this way. I think it's going in nicely. Should be enough, I hope. Now we put this one. Okay. So I'll connect this up. Okay, the sensor is connected. Okay, now we fix these two now. Okay, 
tight enough. Perfect. So, this is how it's done. Uh, Okay, when the old brakes, uh, brake pads and brake disc serviced, uh, we are ready to engage or enable the electronic brake to close the calipers. So, uh, we put the ignition on. Uh, the parking brake is still flashing because it's uh, in a service mode. Um, we go back to our VCDS. We go to select control module go to 53 parking brake read our win wag number actually and basic settings blah 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 okay so end lining change mode here is by default. So that's what we need because we end our job. So we just press go. You can hear the sound. The brakes are closing and here you go. The parking brakes stop flashing. Now at this point we have to close the cup on the expansion tank under the hood for the brake fluid and uh, after that uh, well firstly we have to press done go back close controller go back exit okay so now, once the rear handbrake is enabled, we have to press the uh, brake pedal and cycle the brakes on and off one or two times. It's a good, nice sound and there is a feel under the uh, leg on the pedal that the brakes are working we release the handbrake and uh, apply it again release again the, the brake pedal is actually quite hard so uh, well we'll go for drive and see how it works uh, so that's all really um, thanks for watching I hope that helps someone